back to the channel, everyone. If you're new here, I'm Max Torres. Make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We come out with new duck related content every week that you won't want to miss. Today, I sit down with junior college running back Ty Edwards from Georgia Military College. He's a name that we've seen linked with the Ducks for a while now. He signed with FAU last year, ended up going the junior college route, and the Ducks have consistently recruited him. So let's sit down with Ty and see how he's feeling about the Ducks. All right, now we are joined today by Juco running back prospect Ty Edwards from Georgia Military College. Ty, how's it going, man? Thank you so much for being here with us today. Well, no problem. It's just chilling. Just wait for all this COVID stuff to get done so I get back to doing what I love doing. I feel that. I think we're I think we're all in the same boat, missing some football, missing sports. Uh, on that topic, what have you uh, what have you been up to with you know all the COVID stuff going on? Uh, what's your day to day kind of looking like? I got the same routine: early morning runs for a little bit, then seven on seven, working out, doing a couple of drills at the beach and stuff. Basically, just working, improve my game. That's basically it. Okay, you you mentioned you know doing some seven on seven stuff and uh, you know working at the beach. Are you uh, are you at home? Where are you currently located? Uh, I'm at home. Right now, I'm in a car headed home. But we just stop oh. at the store. Okay, so that's uh just for people who don't know, that's the the Florida area originally, right? Yeah, Florida. Okay. Okay. So getting getting back home and you know, kind of reconnecting with the family, I bet. So that's kind of what you've been up to lately. What is your height and weight looking like? I'm 6'3 six, six to 35. I'm gaining a little weight. I'm still moving. Definitely. So kind of that, yes. that bruiser build for, uh, for the running back position, that's awesome. What I was hoping to do is, you know, focus on the Ducks here and then kind of look at your recruitment as a whole. So on the topic of the Ducks, how often would you say you're hearing from them? Every week, you know, on a quick little interview. Quick interview. Right. Every week. Every week, awesome. Okay, um, so it seems like they're in close, they're in constant communication. Uh, who are you talking to on the Oregon coaching staff? All of them in Zoom meetings. I talk to all of them. Office coordinator, defense person, head coach. I talk to all of them. Okay, so hearing from everybody. Seems like they really take a you know team approach when it comes to recruiting. Is there a particular coach that you would say you were the closest with? I can't say it's like it's, it's all equal. They all so love. It's all equal. Okay, it's a lot of a lot of coach. Gotcha. Okay, so a lot a lot of great relationships. Hard to choose just one. When you are talking to the coaches like you were saying, on a weekly basis. What are your guys' conversations like? Are you talking about kind of the fit in the offense, how they'd like to use you? Okay. Um, we talk about life. They talk to me like, like I'm already family. I'm already family, but it's outside of football. It just keep in contact. That's, that's how I'm doing. Like a real family. Cool. Okay. So it's not always just about football kind of, family and how how you're doing that's that's got to be nice to see um I know you're kind of different from some of the recent Oregon running backs that we've seen in the past you know kind of smaller like quick twitch guys um what kind of a fit do you see yourself uh, having in the Oregon offense I did fit I fit right in with the offense just imagine imagine David Henry and Pat 12 that's what it's gonna be like I ain't say out of copy, it is out of that's out of it's out of confidence. That's how it's gonna be. Derrick Henry in the Pac twelve. That that sounds pretty cool. That's, that'd be some interesting football to watch. Um so you, you've been pretty high on the ducks for a while, I feel like. We've spoken before. What would you say stands out the most about Oregon in your eyes? The fan base. They got they got a big fan base. And the coaches, I talked to all the coaches. They actually like recruiting me, like they stand on me in their fan base. That's the biggest thing. The coaches in the fan base. Okay, coaches in the fan base. Yeah, the you know, the Oregon fans are they're pretty rowdy when you when you go out to games and they're pretty vocal on Twitter. Have you been on that point, have you been able to take a visit out to Eugene for a game or just, you know, to see the facilities in person? 
Oh, no, sir, not yet. I was supposed to, but the COVID stuff got in the way, so I have to wait until it all re- reopen up. And when they allow official visits, I'm taking one the first week and hopefully get to a game, too. Okay, so they can expect you for uh, an official visit, hopefully. Um, and I know that the Ducks were recruiting you uh, before you went to junior college, and now they've kept in contact. It looks like they're still, uh, you know, hoping to see you join them. What does that kind of mean to you for them to stay with you throughout, you know, that whole process of going to JUCO? It's so that it really deaf me. They told me, like, when I go to um, GMC, JUCO, that they would stay on me. And they kept their word. So they kept their word. I trust them. Awesome. Okay. So they're keeping that consistency. That's always probably something that you want to see as a recruit. Throughout this process, have have you heard from any of the 2021 commits that are already part of the Oregon class? Are they, you know, talking up Oregon to you at all? Mm. I tell you, some of them, like, we all show love on Twitter. Like, we commit or post something about the Ducks. We'll, we'll like, retweet it. Like, so that we ready to, ready to come down and take over. Ready to come and take over. That, that's what I like to hear. Love the mindset. Um, up so, you talked about hoping for an official visit. Uh, once things open up, just revisiting that. Are you planning any other visits to different schools at the moment? No, sir. No point. No point. Okay, so why do you why do you say there's not really much of a point? Is it just you know kind of zeroing in on Oregon, or are any other schools talking to you at this point? It, other schools talking, but I ain't. I'm not really interested. I already got my eyes set on school, Oregon. Okay, so it seems like you're zeroing in on the Ducks uh, as of right now. On that topic, I know you're waiting to get out to Oregon for a visit once that's possible, but do you have any kind of a commitment timeline uh, in your head, like you'd like to have the decision made by a certain point or maybe you want to wait it out a little bit? Well, I want to do it before the season, but I have to wait till all this over with. It's not, it's not other stuff going on. Okay, I, I, yeah, I can understand that. It is – a lot of uncertainty right now. Just a couple more questions, and I'll get you out of here, Ty. I don't want to take too much of your time. Um, so with that in mind that you're trying to commit before the season, but we've got to see what's going on, once you do end up committing, do you have any plans to sign early or enroll early? I know things are a little different with uh, junior college prospects. What's what's that kind of looking like? Oh, the earliest we can leave, and it's like basically after our season over in December. So I guess – so I guess as we see season went in December, I'm enrolling to Oregon. Okay, gotcha. So you have to have to wait for the season to end. Uh, Want to take a look at you know football as a whole. What would you say is your favorite thing about being a running back, and then your favorite thing about playing the game of football? Running back, we get we get all the action. No no plays off. We get all the action and. I would say all eyes on us, but we hear running back, you expect somebody to be like exclusive, like show you some things. And playing football in general, it just I don't know, I grew up playing football. It's football basically all I know. And like I wouldn't say I mastered the game, but I'm getting close to it. But I just love football. Gotcha. Yeah, it I feel like with running backs, you're you know, you're expecting to see someone put on a show you know, make that highlight play, get the oohs and the ahs from the crowd. So I can totally see that. And I'm glad that you've uh, been able to keep football as a passion for you. And then last question I want to wrap with is uh, when you do end up committing to a school, what kind of a player would you say that school is getting? They're getting a, a stud all in one. All what you're looking for, all in one person. All in the field, student athlete. All right, right on. Yeah, getting getting the baller, it sounds like. That's what's up. Well, Ty, I just wanted to say thanks again for all your time. Really appreciate you coming here and talking with me. Hopefully we can stay in touch moving forward and stay safe, stay healthy, and have a great rest of your day. Yes, sir, you too. All right, I'll see you later. All right, be safe.